Welcome into the Real Estate Minute Show. I got my arm up here like this because it's almost like a fireside chat. <laughs> I was watching a, a video the other day of uh, somebody that uh, decided to talk about the financial markets and they did it like, like this next to a fire with a cigar, like a fireside chat. So I thought, yeah, might as well do that for a second. Today we're going to talk about love letters. So uh, you probably have noticed if you're selling a house or if you're buying a house that you uh, love letters are a big thing right now. And that's the letter that buyers essentially tell the story about their family. A lot of times they put pictures of their dogs. A few, three or four or five episodes ago, I talked, I touched on this a little bit. And um, in this tight market, certain things become part of a buyer's package of their offer. One is obviously the offer, uh, pre-approval letter um, uh, from their lender, uh, um, proof of funds, of course. And then this buyer love letter, as we call it, pictures of the dog and the family and the babies and the whatever, whatever it is, okay? Um, and how much they love the house and such. As agents now, we are not allowed to tell you to do those if you're a buyer. We're not allowed to tell you to require those as a seller. Um, we essentially are just, if we're handed something, we deliver it over. Okay. And there's certain reasons for that, and this is in California specifically, whether regardless of how you feel politically about this or any of this kind of stuff, that's not the point of this video. This video is to let you know that if you're a buyer or a seller, that love letters are an issue. And the way that the real estate industry is resolving that issue is in our listing agreements with our sellers. So if I'm selling a property with a seller, I sign paperwork with them. It's a listing agreement. It sets the pricing, the time and periods, and all kinds of the commissions and things. And part of that now has changed. So it essentially says to the seller that, do you want me to accept love letters or not? Okay. And if they check mark yes, then whatever I get, I don't read them. I send them right off along with the package. I'm not even supposed to read them as the agent. Okay. So just so you know, um, if you're a buyer and you say, I want to do a love letter and you send it to your agent, uh, your buyer agent for comments to review, to edit or something, they cannot do it. And when they say they can't do it, they're not just being mean or lazy. It means that legally against our license, ethically, we're not allowed to do that. Um, and essentially it's just a shift of paperwork back and forth. So whenever we get offers and we're selling a property for somebody, um, we put together the package and we vet the buyers out. We review the offers. We call the lender with the buyer's approval. Uh, we talk to, you know, we verify their proof of funds and all that kind of stuff. All that stuff is allowed, but now I can't read a letter from the buyer. Um, I smile a little bit because I think it's a little bit broad, but that's the rules. And I just don't want you to be surprised if you're a buyer or a seller that we can't do that as agents. All right. Hope you loved this episode as much as I loved doing it. And we'll see you next week. Have a good week.